Hi. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be back. It's great to have you Finally. Here. Finally, it's been a few years. We're not going to say how many. That's I know exactly kinda, how many. That's kind of weird. But, yeah, no. I blame the producer, but uh, I'm like, what? here, here I'm we like, are. What did I do wrong? I thought, <laughs> I thought it went pretty good. <laughs> the men's volleyball matches aren't enough, I guess. Uh, tonight, big one, uh, MPSF semifinal, BYU and USC. What do you think of this matchup tonight that we're going to see at 9 Eastern? It's a, it's a weird thing because it's USC, right? But their numbers are horrible this year, and yet they've won their last two to get here. So they're just all over the place. Yet it's a scary match because, again, it's it's all it's it's win or go home kind of a thing. And so, I just hope we have a, a good BYU team that shows up tonight to well, to take care of it. Well, yeah, and that's and that's the thing, right? I mean, BYU's number one seed. Um, you know, good at, at at home, right? And this is what I said earlier. Those three losses I've talked about. Smacking yet a little three suspect losses. at home. So I mean, what what team do you expect to see tonight? It's a good question. Uh, we talk a lot about volleyball being 80% mental, 20% physical. And, and in my opinion, it's actually more 90-10. Mm. And there's a lot that goes into that. And, and BYU knows how hot uh, USC is right now. And so they're probably a little bit nervous as well. I mean, yeah, you look at the numbers, it's like, okay, we're going to just destroy those guys. Right. But the reality is... Uh, it's all about peaking at the right time in volleyball, and USC is, is playing really well right now. So I hope BYU takes it seriously and comes out and just just tromps them. Steve Vale is on BYU Sports Nation, BYU TV volleyball analyst. USC has defeated UCLA, a top-five team, and Pepperdine twice in the last two weeks. They also wedged in some losses to Grand Canyon and Concordia Irvine. So a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde situation here. But the fact that USC has done that, and BYU should have been playing Concordia Irvine and instead, but USC beat Pepperdine, it scares you a little bit, like you said. That's the thing, is BYU has done the same thing. They, they lose to Loyola at home, and then they go to, to Ohio State and beat them at their home, the number one team in the nation. Like Hawaii. what the Yeah, Hawaii wins. as well. And, and really Pepperdine. hard to beat at home. Yeah. It's crazy. And so it's like, it is a very Jekyll and Hyde thing. It's, it's very schizophrenic. You know, I talk about that a lot too. It's like, who's going to show up tonight? So hopefully, like, I'm obviously BYU is going to take it seriously, but hopefully BYU just has their game that's, face on. That's what I was going to ask you, um, you know, as, as a player, how do you, like, like, what's your mindset? Because on paper, you guys, you know, you, you, sh you should be dominant, but you have them, you know, come in on hot. I mean, what does that make you do as a player? Do you say, ah, oh, no worry, we, we, we got him? Or is it, you know, red alert, red alert, let's everybody step the game up? Right, and that's a great question. So, so with, like, when I played, excuse me, when I played, uh, the, the mental aspect of it, I mean, my, and there was a time when my, my buddy and I, we were uh, the number one team in the state, but yet we would drive to tournaments and be like, okay, today is the day. Like, uh, our cover's going to be blown. Everyone's going to realize how bad we suck. And, <laughs> and, and, then, and then we'd go out and we'd play really well and we'd win it or whatever. And, and I'd be like, but every Saturday it was that same, like, oh, here we go. Oh, this is the time. <laughs> so mentally. Yeah, great confidence. Like. Isn't that a horrible mindset? And that's, that's what I'm saying, though. Is So BYU, hopefully they're not dealing with that. Hopefully they can look at the numbers and be like, okay, I've, I have like a million aces this year. I'm just going to go out there and just serve the lights out and ah, just destroy yeah. these guys. So hopefully that's their mindset. Said theirs is a little bit better than mine was when I played. <laughs> so hopefully that'll be the case for them. BYU is going to play its final home game, hopefully Saturday night, in the MPSF championship this season. We had four years of Taylor Sander. We've now had four years of Brendan Sander. By the way, I tweeted the other day, fun fact, Taylor, Brendan, and Pat Sinclair, only dudes in BYU history with 1,000 kills and 100 aces. Wow. Brendan's been a special player. Obviously, Taylor was as well. We've joked on the air about how sad we're going to be when the Sanders are gone. This is an eight-year run, four and four. Yeah. Have you thought about that at all? With this of weekend? course I've thought Am about I making that. This and I, and I, I, there's not even a box of Kleenex <laughs> here. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's messed up. Like, this is a bad, whew, okay, hang on. <laughs> yeah, right? Thank you. Okay, I feel better. Uh, it's a tough one. I even talked to their mom. I was like, please tell me there's a little brother somewhere that's hiding that's going to be coming to BYU soon because – a, 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 a <laughs> time a without sister, but it's, a yeah, time without you know. yeah that's not going to help yeah. unless she cuts her hair really short or something but yeah that's going to be a tough time so you can't really put a, a, I mean it's hard to talk about how important those two brothers are to this not to just this program but to volleyball itself I mean now you got Taylor who's out there in the world league and he's taking it by storm he's crushing it in Italy right? absolutely and so I mean, and wait till his little brother gets out there. How amazing would it be for them to be on the same team out in the world playing and just dominating? This summer, right? they could be on the World League together. I, isn't that just crazy? Yeah. So, I mean, they have been so big for this program and for the sport itself. And so it's a bummer. It really is that these guys are going to be gone. You guys are, are, the, are the volleyball experts. 
Do you know of any other, you know, brothers that could potentially, you know, make an impact, you know, at, at such a high level? You know, what's funny is the the Crab Brothers, uh, I think uh, Long Beach, right? Yeah. Um, Taylor was kind of the standout. He went up against Taylor Sander, and they were both kind of uh, vying for that National Player of the Year. But Trevor wasn't like as good. He kind of sat on the bench. Quality player, but not right. A now they're on player of the year camp. Right now yeah. they're both on the beach playing, and they're just battling each other. And so he was obviously a better beach player. But as far as the indoor world, no, I don't, I can't think of any any other family that has been. You know, you have the Peyton Manning. I don't know. I, the, I, the Shoji yeah, brothers yeah. pretty good. Libero okay, yeah, okay. combo from Stanford. That's true. That's pretty Kabika good too. And Eric. But I mean, like a, that outside hitter that jumps forty plus inches. That yeah. just, I mean, and, they and look the, like the same guy when they play. It's yeah. crazy. It's been so fun. You don't want to miss it. It's BYU and USC tonight. Men's volleyball, MPSF semifinal, nine Eastern. Winner plays Saturday night. If BYU's in the championship game, we'll have that as well. Steve, it's been great to have you back in studio. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. I appreciate After it. Ten years. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. Yeah, I'll try not to watch my watch, but hopefully, I'll get a call back at some point. <laughs> <laughs>